do I have loose skin, sagging skin, wrinkles after my 83 pound loss on mandrel terzepatide over the course of the past 15 months? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel for another video. This is a fun one that I thought I would do. Um, so a lot of you guys have asked me if I have any loose skin or, you know, anything like that. Some of you even pointed some out, which I'm 100% okay with because, you know, whatever. Uh, but I thought I would share with you guys today a little bit about that process for me, how it has looked, and maybe like if you have a similar body type to me or a similar starting weight or whatever, then it can give you kind of an, a general idea of whether or not you will end up with loose skin. Now, I do want to say, A, I'm not a doctor, and B, it is different for everybody. So much stuff um, goes into account when you are talking about loose skin or wrinkles or whatever. Um, the two biggest ones being obviously your starting weight and how fast you lost weight. And also your genetics can play a really big role in whether or not you end up with loose skin or whatever. So take this with a grain of salt, but I wanted to share with you kind of where I am at. So if you are new here, again, I've lost 83 pounds on Manjaro. Um, so this was me before starting Manjaro and also before I had a tummy tuck. Now I do, most of you know that if you've been around, but I did actually have a tummy tuck before I started Manjaro. So before all of my weight loss, I had a tummy tuck to get rid of. Um, I had some, I've, I've had three babies. And because of that, I had a really big muscle separation in my stomach. And so I just like had no core strength. My back hurt all the time, whatever. And of course, obviously I was obese, but um, my doctor recommended doing that in order to kind of get in a better physical position, less pain or whatever, to be able to lose weight. Um, so I did have a tummy tuck prior to that. So that is what that first picture was. Now this picture was actually me at the very beginning of my Manjaro journey. So the picture that you guys are looking at right now, that picture was taken in November of 2022. So that is from a video where I was doing a six month tummy tuck update. Um, and that is where that is from. So it's the very beginning of my Manjaro journey. Now it is now... April of 2024. So we are 15, 16 months later, and we're going to talk about how everything is looking now. And I'm actually going to stand up and change the camera and share with you guys how everything is looking now as well. Now I did lose the majority of my weight in the first seven months on Manjaro. And pretty much since then, um, I've been maintaining it's changed, you know, 10 ish pounds, maybe since last summer, uh, I guess it's been about 15 since last summer, but the last 15 pounds has come off a lot slower. And I do think that that has given my body more time to, my skin, more time to react properly. So there are a few areas that I want to touch on in today's video. We're going to do what you can see first, and then I will stand up and show you other stuff. So um, the first thing that I wanted to point out, a lot of people will say that they um, I've seen this happen a lot, the like sort of sagging turkey neck or whatever that has been common with Manjaro. And I don't know if that is a direct effect from Manjaro or if it is just from like fast weight loss or whatever, but that seems to be like a common side effect or whatever that people talk about online, like in Reddit threads and all of that. So to turn to the side, I don't feel like I have anything there. In fact, for the most part, my neck has recovered very nicely from losing that amount of weight. I don't have like any significant sagging skin there or anything like that. My double chin has left for the most part. I have lost a ton of weight in my face. Again, if you've been around for a while, um, if you go back and watch like some of my early, early videos, my face is just like a balloon. So I really think that that has um, recovered nicely. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about, and I am going to point you down just a tad for this one, are my arms. Now, there you can see, what are those called? Sandbags, that's what people call them. Um, so I do have some hanging loose skin there on both of my arms, but... I always have. I don't necessarily think that's related to Manjaro. I have always had this sort of, even when I was heavier, this, this. I'm 100% aware that I could just like lift some weights and probably tighten this up a lot because it's not super loose, but there is, you know, a good bit of like sagging 
skin there. Now, that is something that many, many women in my family have suffered with. My mom actually had hers removed after having a gastric bypass and my grandmother had it as well. My sisters all have it. So this is like sort of a trait in the women in my family. So um, yeah, I could obviously get that cut off. Not interested. I've heard this is a horrible surgery and I could lift more weights again. Probably not interested. Uh, it's just, I, most of my exercise is walking and I don't really wear like tank tops or anything like that, even in the summer. And so most of it is covered most of the time. So first two things were one, were 50% of sagging skin. So the next thing that I want to show you is actually my tummy tuck. Um, oh, actually first, before we do that, let's talk about my breasts. So obviously I'm not going to show your, those with you, but I will say that those have definitely deflated. I've gone down about two bra sizes, um, since two cup sizes, I was a double D and I'm now like a C or a D. So depending like one to two bra sizes, I've gone down. Um, and they definitely are like saggier than before. They're just not full or whatever. That is a plastic surgery that I am exploring the option of doing. Um, if I did anything else other than my tummy tuck, my breasts would be what I did. Um, in fact, when I had my tummy tuck, I almost did it all at the same time, but I was going to have to stay in the hospital and I didn't want to do that. So taking the breasts off actually allowed me to not have to stay in the hospital. So they are saggy. That's a thing. There are a lot of stretch marks on my breasts, whatever. I might be able to show you. I'm going to actually take my shirt off now and stand up and share with you guys my back and my stomach because so many people also ask me about my tummy tuck. So let me stand up, get repositioned, and I'll share that with you. Okay. So I'm standing up now. I have a, a sports like t-shirt bra on that we're going to, we're going to deal with for, for now. And we'll just take my hat off even though my hair looks like crap. Okay. So um, you can see my, my sandbags a little bit better now. And one other thing that I wanted to touch on is my back. So before losing all of the weight, I had a lot of back fat. Now I still do have, you can see this here, like, a this, like, what is that called? A spare tire? Maybe. I don't know, but I still do have this here. And this is definitely something, um, that's looser. So, you know, you take it like it's empty. There's not a lot of like actual fat in it. Uh, but for the most part, there's what my back looks like when I'm just like standing and then there as well. For the most part, I'm actually very happy with how my back um, like leaned out because back fat has always been something that I've struggled really bad with. Like bathing suits, for instance, I never wanted to wear because I had such bad back rolls. So I'm actually really okay with this and how it worked out um, because I don't have nearly as much of like back rolls as I did at one time. Now, my tummy tuck. A lot of people want to hear about that. So we're going to turn you down just a little bit more and talk about that. So this is what my stomach looks like right now. I did want to show my scar as well. Like it's very lenient. Now, where I noticed some loose skin is like here. So you can see that there. Um, the like back of my hips on both sides see but really nothing on my stomach which i am very excited for a lot of people told me that i was going to ruin my tummy tuck when i had surgery or when i started losing weight i'm moving you down trying to get a better angle of this when i started losing weight a lot of people told me that i was going to ruin my tummy tuck and i was a little bit scared about that but overall i'm like okay i want to be healthy so this is me just like hitting my stomach flat. Like I don't have a lot. I can't really squeeze. If I bend over, there's not like a roll. I don't have any rolls when I sit down. There's me bending over. There might be a little bit, but it's nothing like serious. Nothing like I had before. My stomach is flat. This is me pushing out. All of that. So really it's like this but that was there before, now it's just empty. So in theory, I could like get this taken off, but I don't know. I, I mean, I don't mind my hips, so I leave it. Now, that is kind of the biggest places that I have noticed anything is in my back and my sides. My thighs have 
shrunk, like completely shrunk down my thighs and there's no loose skin. Like, I don't know how I've gotten away with that. I think that the most likely reason is because I did so much walking. I don't wanna put this shirt on backwards. That I did so much walking, like in the beginning of my journey, I was walking like three to four days a week for like an hour plus at a time. I would walk every time my daughter went to preschool, like the whole time she was there. So the first like six to eight months, I did a ton of walking and then I wasn't, when the summertime hit and my kids were all home from school, I didn't, I literally probably walked like maybe 10 times all summer last summer. And so it, I don't know, but I think that doing all of that walking in the beginning of my journey really helped my legs to like slim down and not have any issues because I have not had any issues. So I'm very happy about that. But um, yeah, so I think that's it. Um, for the most part, I no 100%, I would have my tummy tuck again. I would have it before I had surgery or before I started Manjaro and I would do Manjaro a million times over again and take the little bit of loose skin that I have over being 230 plus pounds again. Like I obviously don't want to do that. So, um, yeah, like I'll take a little bit of loose skin for that. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. If you have any other like questions or video ideas, I'm thinking about doing a Q and A actually. So if you are interested in that, if you have any questions for me about my Manjaro journey or whatever, please drop them down below, or you can email them to me. My email is always in the description, but it is just Brit's lovely life at gmail.com. Fun, right? It's been like that for like 10 years. And, um, I, feel like I'm pretty good about responding on there. There's been several of you reach out and I try to respond within a few days. If I don't get back to you within like three or four, send me a follow-up because I also tend to be the person that reads an email and then never responds to it. But uh, yeah, I love, there's a few of you that have reached out to me via email and I love chatting back and forth with you guys about things in, on your journeys as well. So leave me Q and A questions down below or email them to me and I will try to get that filmed within the next couple of days. Today's emoji is going to be the dog. Any dog, I don't care, pick a dog, but a dog, because I love them, I love dogs. So let's do a dog emoji for today. Um, and I'm hoping to have, like I mentioned in my last video, Facebook group information for you guys within the next week or so, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I think that's all of my little like updates that I needed to say. I have one more video to film before I go get Finley from preschool, so you're gonna see this outfit one more time. Again, batch filming, lots of children, lots of stuff going on here, I do it when I can. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you an idea of what you can expect with your weight loss journey. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up drop a dog emoji and I will see you guys in the next few days. I think the next video that you guys will see will actually be my sort of one week on compound recap. So stay tuned for that because I know a lot of you are interested in it. That'll probably be out on Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.